today. And um, it's normal as a farmer, I usually go to my farm. So I went to my farm along Boko Road. And um, on our way back, we started hearing some gunshots. Uh, we discovered people who were dressed in black. And from our experience, it was very clear that these are Fulani militia men, bandits. And I do not want to take things for granted because a few days ago, the media were washed with the communique or the statement from the Fulani uh, uh, Mayor Tiala, who met in uh, Yola. Uh, that is where they met in 2006 and decided that they must take Nigeria as their country and every other person living here must be slave. That was why they started infiltrating the entire country. And they came out with a statement. I was uh, alarmed, singling me out as the only person who is creating problems for the entire Fulani race in this country. It was quite disturbing. And uh, behind the scene, I also heard in, that in the meeting, I was targeted for elimination. Uh, this was the information I got. And they would go after me, whether in my home or in my farm or wherever they get me. And this is not the first time. I had intelligence before that these people say they were going to kill my security aid and then capture me alive and give me gradual killing. But like I always say, my life is in the hands of God. It's not in the hands of any Fulani man or anybody whatsoever. And I still remain firm. I will fight for truth, justice, equity, and fairness till when God permits that I should not be here again. Then I can go. But it's only God that can permit my existing on this earth. Not any Fulani man, I want to say it boldly. They have no right. They will continue to fail just like they did today. I appreciate the security personnel attached to me. They were able to repair them and uh, they could not have access to me. And thank God for my fitness to have run for more than one and a half kilometers without stopping. It means that uh, God has given me strength and I'm grateful to God. And I want to say a quote from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr who said, if peace means keeping my mouth shut in the midst of injustice and evil, I don't want peace. If peace means willingness to be exploited economically, dominated politically, humiliated and segregated, I don't want peace. Martin Luther King Genium. This is what he said. And I stand with him. I'm not going to subject myself to intimidation of any one whatsoever. I don't have problems with any Fulani man or Fulani race. But I have problems with Fulani bandits who have vowed to take over Nigeria as their ancestral home. And I say no. Not when I'm here and when I am governor leading my state. I'm not concerned about other states. Other states who want to give their land and give their, themselves to be slaves to these Fulani men, I have no problem with them. But my own state, I have consulted with my people, and what I'm doing is in line 
with the wish of my people. And that I stand. I have not infringed on anybody's right. My lawyer is here. He's going to extend a petition against the leadership of uh, Fulani Hellsmen or whatever you call them, Meyati Allah. Because they came out to target me and behind the scene, they have planned to eliminate me. And I'm seeing that on my own land. If I can't go to the farm as governor with the entire security around me, then who else can go to farm? You can imagine the pains that we have here in Benue State. Thank God for Mr. President who responded to my letter that anyone with AK-47 should be shot, shot at sight. I'm yet to see that. Let me see it happening in Benue State. I have reported this to the security agencies and I hope that this will be done so that the land will be safe for our people to go back to farm and do their work and survive and live their life. Here in Benue State, we are not against Fulani men. We are not against Hausa, Igbo, any tribe, even white people. We are ready to provide land for ranching. That is what the law say. I don't know what this set of Fulani men who come from Niger, from Mali, from Chad, from Senegal, from uh, other parts of the world. They have destroyed Mali completely. Nothing is happening there. They have destroyed Libya. They have destroyed several African countries with their aggression and think that they will come here and destroy Nigeria. I don't know what they mean. We are not against Fulani people who legitimate, legitimately want to do their business here, including Kato Riyadin. But you must ranch. That is the law. And we are in a democratic era. And democracy is anchored on the rule of law. I don't know why people will come from somewhere and think that they will not obey the laws of the land. If everybody will take that, if all of us decide to be lawless, if all of us decide to take guns and go after people or our perceived enemies, there will be lawlessness. There will be anarchy. And who knows what will happen. I want to call on Mr. President. I want to call on the security agencies to fish these people out. They are in the forest between Makudi and Abinti. They are living there and they are coming out to commit atrocities, evil, rape women, kill our people, mayhem them, destroy our farmlands, and do all this. And anytime our lives of God go after them and security agencies go, they run back to the forest across the river. This is not fair. I'm going to make a petition against the leadership of Meyeti Allah because they are responsible for making arrangements to try to eliminate me. But I want to assure them that until God permits, they cannot. They cannot do that because I have not committed any crime. I have not done any evil against anyone throughout my more than 40 years political experience i have not injured anyone with a pin talk less of knife i have not done it because that is not the way to go in my pursuit for power i've always known that power belongs to god and he gives it to whosoever he will and that is it so i don't know why uh, these people think wherever they are getting their distance. But up to today, I've been calling for the arrest of this people since 2017. And they are going about their normal business in Abuja, in Yola, in Kano, everywhere, without security men inviting them for questioning. And the worst thing that pains me is these people are protected by our Nigerian security men, our taxpayers' money, our security men that are inadequate because of the crisis caused by this Meyati Allah. And the police are still protecting them. 
What is the reason? Are we second class citizens? I'm not second class citizen to anyone in this country. I pay tax. Just like any other person. And I'm law abiding. And I hope that the security agencies we question these people why they should single me out in their EULA meeting and behind the scene giving orders for me to be eliminated and I have seen the result today. If not for the security personnel that were with me, I don't know, maybe I would have been a story. So that is it, but I'm going to make a petition to the president and to the security agencies for the leadership of Mayor Taylor to be arrested. They have no right. What they are doing is not correct. And government must not fold its hands. I believe in the unity of this country, and I'm not against anyone. I'm not fighting anyone. But I'm fighting for the right of the people that elected me. I'm fighting for justice, equity, and fairness. And I cannot compromise that one. And the law prohibiting open grazing in Benue State can never be reviewed. We're not going to do that. I've consulted with my people, and our people say that it will never be reviewed on that way. And rather, if we're reviewing it, we're going to put more stringent condition attached to it. For instance, the payment of fine on heads of cattle that are arrested in Benue State. So, nobody should think about that. And come to think of it, I remain a solution to the problem that has bedeviled this country as far as healthmen and farmers' crisis is concerned. Since 2016, I've been propagating ranching as a global best practice. And that is where we are today. Pessimism and skeptics who never accepted it, today they're accepting it. People who came out openly and attacked me, today they have laid the same bill to their houses of assembly to have ranches all over the place. And that is the only solution. So why have I become a problem? By finding a solution to a problem that is existing and government is not able to come out to make pronouncement or legislate to ensure that we all live in peace. How am I a problem? Let them come and tell the whole world. Let them tell me. And I have always said that, look, if you disagree with me, tell me the other option that is superior to the one that I have brought on the table. Up to today, nobody has said it. I challenge all Nigerians. I challenge all foreign men who are against me. I challenge Nigerians who are against me. Come out and tell me if there is another solution to ensure peace for farmers and herdsmen and not just farmers and husbands and the people. Tell me. So that we, if it is superior to providing ranching for cattle rearing, then we can follow you. But it is clear to me that the issue of herdsmen in Nigeria, especially the full animal, it is just a camouflage. The agenda is to take over the land. And they have said it. I'm quoting them. It is in the media. They have said Nigeria is the only country that belongs to them. They will take over and everybody will be slaves. And I won't be a slave to any Flanny man. That is the point. Count me out. And the Tip people, the Benue people will not be slaves. And we're not going to uh, catch other people to be slaves to us. Live and let's live. Democracy, freedom for everybody. Everybody should be free to express himself to associate with everybody and do your business. That is all. I don't know why. And I want to commend my colleague in uh, Ekiti State, who came out yesterday clearly as the chairman of our governor's forum to say that this government has failed. It's not about APC or PDP or anything. This is not politics. My respect to my chairman, Governor's Forum. That is the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And so for him as an APC member to come out and say this, because if it were another 
governor from another party or myself coming, they will say we are playing politics. But if I me came out clearly and said that this government has failed, providing security, this need. Everybody is running all over the place. Traditional rulers, governors, politicians. If I'm not safe in my own state, then who else is safe in Benue State? That is the question I'm asking. This is a painful aspect. So it is very serious. I appreciate President Buhari for coming out to give the shoot outside order with people carrying AK-47. That is one. I appreciate him for coming out to also say that the border in Nigeria should be strengthened. That is the second point I raised in my letter. There are other 10 points that are still pending. Let him address all these ones too. Because if he wants this country to be together and ensure peace for all, all those issues must be addressed. All these issues of kidnapping and all that are brought here by Fulani men. Nobody should shy away from saying uh, it is bandits without calling those Fulani men. Yeah, we have two people who are criminals. Ghana was a criminal. We never shared away from him. He was a thief man. There are still criminal elements within the state. And there are two people. There are Doma criminal elements. We know them. So we shouldn't shy away from them. Why should we not uh, uh, talk about uh, 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 Fulani uh, uh, bandits who, who are terrorizing everybody in the forest? And now they are here. And even inviting Boko Haram to join them to create problems here for us. So it is clear there's no other person. And they have not hidden it. They have come out to say that, yes, they were brought in so the people should settle them. We are begging the federal government. If they brought them, they should settle them to go back to where they came from so that we can have our peace. What kind of a thing is it? Even if it means taxing all of us to settle them to go away so that we can go to farm. If I can't go to farm, who else can go to farm in Benue State? So that is the challenge. Thank you very much. This was around 11 o'clock. 11 a.m. Nobody was injured. Like I said, my security men took them up and were, were able to repair them. So they went back. As I talked to you, Operation Y stroke is on them. The police are there. The SS are there. All the security will have to call for reinforcement. But thank God we were able to escape on hot. They, they, I, I can't identify, but the ones I see at a glimpse, I can see that there were more than 15 that came after us.